If you're working in a landing gear overhaul facility, the last thing you want to do is to be exposed to cadmium. ES3 has developed a safe alternative to cadmium and it is flying today. Landing gear are made from high strength steel and consequently they have to have a corrosion protection coating to keep them from felling prematurely in the field. It's been over 60 years they've used cadmium and it's worked great. As an engineer, I like cadmium, but unfortunately it's not environmental friendly. It damages your kidneys, your lungs, and other organs, and also it's carcinogenic and it's so easy to liberate. If you just touch a, a surface of cadmium and then eat a sandwich, you ingest it. If you sand on it, you can breathe it in, and so it's just tough to keep control. And zinc nickel is an environmentally friendly coating that it's harder, it lasts longer, and it does as well, if not better, than cadmium in, in some areas, especially corrosion. Zinc nickel is a drop-in replacement, and what that means is we can take the existing cadmium tank, pump out the cadmium solution, clean the tank, and then fill it full of zinc nickel solution and plate in those same lines with minimal change out. Our main customer is the United States Air Force. We currently have over 2,000 landing gear components flying with zinc nickel on them. We at our ES3 facilities in Warner Robins have plated uh, components for Boeing and other companies, and Boeing has their own plating line also. They've implemented in UTAS, uh, Haru DevTech, Bell Helicopter, and other companies are currently have their own zinc nickel plating lines, and they're using this technology. This Air Force SBIR program has been instrumental in helping zinc nickel get launched and going forward. Without the seed funding to help us bring all the team members together ourselves and be able to do all the testing, all the implementation, there's no way we could have done it without uh, funding from the Air Force SBIR program. In February of 2000, we started our company, and we only had six employees. Through this Air Force SBIR program, it's helped us grow our company to currently over 17 years to 130 employees with a vast amount of knowledge and where we have our hands in a lot of different technologies. Our technical point of contact, Dave Frederick, has been critical throughout this project. Without him, there is no way we'd have been able to make this project possible. We definitely have to have a good technical point of contact to interface with everybody involved, from the production facilities to the engineering group, to help them understand, to sell the new processes and getting buy-in for everybody that's involved with this project. We've been involved with ES3 for some time now. Uh, they're, they're a great organization in the fact that they have a lot of uh, people that are experienced in landing gear and so they're uh, very in, in tune with the needs and the, the things that we need to work on specifically in our, in our, uh, in our area. Uh, landing gear is a very austere environment. It, down on the ground, it gets a lot of rocks and, and uh, things thrown at it. It has to be a durable coating that, that we work with. And so ES3 understands those kinds of issues and have been able to work with us to provide those best, the best coatings and improve this coating system as well as improving the environmental uh, and toxicity issues that we might have with the, uh, the cadmium. We've used this, this on, on virtually all of our uh, legacy landing gear to include the B1, the B2, B52, KC-135s, the C-130s, the F-15s, the F-16s, T-38. We've got this process working out in the field right now today on many of these components. ES3 has received commercial readiness program support throughout this project from helping to implement the prototype plating line at Hill Air Force Base. It's been instrumental in helping us to keep this project going forward. If you have a technology that you believe that could benefit the Air Force, there's no question in my mind that this Air Force SBR program is a big step up. It's just a great opportunity to seed your company and give you some capital to get, get going.